hello art friends I've been a little under the weather so I haven't had a video out and trying to do a voiceover while I'm sick has been very tough so I apologize ahead of time and uh, this video is for the endless ATC and that is just an ATC an artist trading card that flips open endlessly so you can just keep opening it um, I'll show you a little visual here of what I'm talking about from my most recent ATC that I did for the Brumbacher ATC art swap. All right, so a few things that you're going to need. A, a stick of glue and tacky liquid glue. Either one's fine. You can even use double-sided tape. Something with a flat, stiff edge, maybe a ruler. Or um, I'm using my GameStop card because it's nice and stiff cutting device, you could use scissors, a uh, paper cutter, whatever you're going to want. The paper that you want to use for your ATC. You can use plain paper, patterned paper. Um, I've gone ahead and measured out on my patterned paper here. We're going to cut out two three by five, three and a half by two and a half. So you can go ahead with whatever tool or device you're going to use to cut your paper, whether it's scissors, X-Acto knife, if you want to rip it, if you like having a nice torn edge, or a paper cutter. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my paper cutter. It tends to make it easier to have a nice, clean, even edge when I use the paper cutter versus scissors. So we're going to cut two of equal size. All right, so now we have two equally sized ATCs. And for the first one, we're going to fold it from the top to the bottom. For some that might not be the top, um, depending on how you're using the card for the skinniest edge. And then we're going to do the opposite with the second card. We're going to go across the, the length of the card rather than the width. And then we're going to cut it down the fold. This one, we're going to cut it across the fold that we made. Horizontally. So we have one vertical cut and one horizontal cut. And you might want to pull out your ruler. So what we're going to do is measure halfway and then fold. course, pull out whatever tool you decided to use, ruler, card, boning device, um, just so you have a nice clean edge on there. Go ahead and do the second one. Alright, so now that they're both folded in half, we are going to find the halfway mark in the center of this, and we're going to fold each of the ends towards the middle so that they meet at an equal distance. I'm sorry, I've backed this away from the camera. I had to pull it up a little bit close. The way my camera is, I can't get my head in there too, <laughs> too close to see. I think I had measured the center point. All right. So we fold the ends towards the center and then make sure that they're flattened out nicely. And then open it back up. And we're going to do the same thing to the remaining pieces. So I'm just going to measure this out on the first one to make sure everything is of equal distance. Because you want all of your bits and pieces here to match up.
And with this month's theme being portals, that could be interpreted in so many ways. I had a lot of ideas, which was why I was so excited to use the Endless ATC for this project this month. All right, so now that we have all of our pieces folded and ready to go, you can see in each of the corners, there is going to be a rectangle. And you just want it from the top section, the one on the left, the one on the right. You're going to smear some glue on there. Or if you're using double stick tape, make sure that you cut it to fit just that section. So we're just doing the bottom section now, the both outer edges. Now you can see I've used the card that was cut horizontally on the bottom, and I'm going to put the two separate vertical pieces with those squares or the rectangle edges matching and then press down and a little bit of wiggling to match up the bottom and then the other side and then we're just going to let this dry and with the magic of the camera these sections have already dried so you can go ahead and from the inside out, we're going to open up the card and press all of the edges um, and then go through each area, each section of this card and just fold everything nice and flat. And you can see there are bare areas as you're going through the card. You can go back through with the same paper and glue those sections in. You can use that area to embellish um, complementary things. And you can see it does take on like a crazy shape along the way. So it creates a lot of interest and really takes some creativity to fill these spaces. Um, it's so much fun. It's just endless. It just keeps going. <laughs> so for all the blank areas, if you do feel like going back in, um, you can just measure appropriately and cut your cardstock to fit. You can go back in and paint the areas. Uh, from the recent portals ATC that I did for Grum Vulture, um, I had so many ideas that I had to use this endless ATC to get all of my portals in there. So I was super excited to share that and to be able to do it in this creative manner where it's just going to be fun for the person who gets it to open it over and over and see all the different portals that were in there. Um, but the medium that I used was Grumbacher acrylic paint. And because I used that for the majority of the ATC, uh, there weren't any areas that I had to look out for on the folds. Because the, the paint is pretty pliable and it can bend with the card. So if you're going to put any kind of hard embellishment on here, be mindful of where those folds are and where you place your items so that the card can still maintain its flexibility to become endless. And here is my portals ATC that I created. It is the TARDIS as a portal, and then a space portal that's opening up into a stone gate, and that stone gate opens. And then you see through the stone gate that there is a weeping angel. This was a lot of fun. Um, you can see where all the areas are that, are that fold. and Of course, it's very shiny, and I apologize for all that light bouncing off of it. But All right, so there you are, guys. I've figured out your measurements and all that fanciness. Now I want to see what you guys come up with. If you have any videos or any pictures of the ATCs that you come up with, you know, tag me on your social media. I want to see what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe so you see more awesome cheeky videos. And again, I apologize for the sick voice. Hopefully next time I will be better. Thank you so much.